the slave trade, slave practice was abhorrent. Um, and it's very important that we start from that place. And um, of course, that matters hugely to many of the countries that are represented um, here. The question then is, um, where do we go from there? Mm. Now, my um, posture, if you like, is that we should be forward looking. Uh, that we should look at what are today's challenges in this group of countries represented here today. And in the discussions I've already had before I came here and since I've been here, it's very clear to me that the major challenges are resilience in the face of uh, climate mm -hmm. um, challenges um, and also the question of how okay. we improve trade between our countries. And that's my, my posture, if you like, my focus is on the forward look, not, not, not the sort of backward look. I want to understand the nature of your objection. Is it a financial one or is it a moral philosoph philosophical one? Can our generation be held responsible for the actions of our forebears? Well, I think our generation can say um, the slave trade and practice was abhorrent and we should, you know, we talk about our history, we can't change our history, but we should certainly talk about our history. And be Say clear that, but about not apologise, not pay any money. Well, look, you know, I think that, you know, we recognise that and of course um, apologies have already been made in relation to the slave trade and that's not surprising, it's what you would expect.